Hey, hey, everyone. A few, se few seconds, long time no see, but Mitchell back here on the Sports Hub regardless. Just kind of, yeah, just kind of starting it again after Enter actually announcing the Wisconsin at Ohio State time, which I know it's not a surprise, but it's officially confirmed for that time. So stay, so tune into that video if you want to see, see the official announcement I have there, and that's going to be an exciting game. So this video, it'll be on a, it'll be on week seven. There's gonna be a couple notable games. Friday, Ohio State will actually be in Northwestern before the huge showdown against Bucky in Columbus. But Northwestern hopefully will come out hungry and they're actually hoping to get a big win, big statement win to get to stay eligible for a bowl game. And they're very down this year. They don't have Clayton Thorson as their quarterback, and I just yep, I just don't think their offense is really ready for that matchup but we'll see I think that's gonna I'm pretty excited for that game if it's gonna be close and as mentioned on the last video I published a few minutes ago on the Wisconsin game Oregon at Washington is also a big game as I mentioned earlier I know I said as mentioned again but Jake Browning is not playing at Washington anymore. I think it's I think it's hard for them to get their offense consistent throughout the season but I, I think their defense will help them stay in it against a really tough Oregon offense, but they're gonna I think they're really gonna shut down Oregon's office offense and yeah, we'll really see how that one goes. But I really like that game too. That's at two thirty on ABC and then following that, my Michigan Wolverines will be at Penn State to to battle battle them in a huge pitiful Big Ten matchup. Shea Patterson's really gonna get on his game. I Charbonnet has kind of been decent as a running back, but Patterson's really got to be on it. And the defense, Don Brown's really got to really got to play it out, especially the way they beat Iowa defensively. But they have to win in like all cylinders of the game, and they also have to stop Sean Clifford. And Penn State's really tough offensively, but defensively they kind of struggle. So they really just had to play well, as meant as I said earlier, just all cylinders of the football. And I think it'll definitely come down to the end. I don't think Michigan will win, but it's going to be exciting to watch. And it'll definitely keep their keep their college football playoff hopes alive if they get pull off a massive upset in Happy Valley. So those are the two games. It'll still be a fun weekend to sit back and watch the games as they're happening. And NFL on Sunday, I'll do a preview of that tomorrow and the pick. So... Stay tuned, everyone, and hope hope you guys have a great Tuesday night. And like, subscribe, and comment, and see you next time on Mitchell's Sports Hub YouTube channel.